Hello again, Math 1 students. This is Mr. Liao, and we're going to go through part two of section 10.5 using parallel and perpendicular lines. In part one, you found the distance from a point to a line. You had to first find the equation of the perpendicular line going through the given point. You would then have to find the point on the original line that intersects with the new line. Finally, you would have to find the distance between the given point and the point the two lines intersected. So it took three parts and it took a lot of work. Some of you guys blazed through the homework telling me you didn't really do it. Today we're gonna to be looking at the distance between two parallel lines. So it's gonna be doing something similar. It's gonna take several parts where you're gonna to have to do them one by one, ultimately using the distance formula. As a refresher, the slopes of parallel lines. Two lines are parallel if and only if they have the same slope. Again, any two vertical lines are parallel. Again, as a review, the slopes of perpendicular lines are negative reciprocals of each other. In other words, two non-vertical lines are perpendicular if and only if the product of their slopes is negative one. So if the slope of the first line is two thirds, the slope of the perpendicular line is negative three over two. You flip the fraction and you change the sign. Also, horizontal lines are perpendicular to vertical lines. Today we're looking at the distance between two parallel lines. That distance is the length of any perpendicular segment joining the two lines. So if you take a look at lines M and P to find the distance between them, you can use the length of segment CD or the length of segment EF. Parallel lines are always separated by the same distance. And again, you are gonna look at the length of any perpendicular segment. So keep in mind, perpendicular segment means you're gonna to have to take the negative reciprocal slope of the original lines. Example 2a, find the distance between the lines y equals 1 half x minus 2 and y equals 1 half x plus 1. The first thing you're going to need to do is graph both of these lines. So let's start with the first line, y equals 1 half x minus 2. There's your y-intercept at 0, negative 2. And then you're going to go up 1, right 2. So up 1, right 2, there's another point. And you're going to draw a line in between those points. Okay. There it is, I'm gonna erase the line that I drew so you can see the new line. You're gonna do the same thing with the second line. Y equals one half X plus one. So here is zero, negative one. You go up one, right two. So there's another point, and then you're gonna show the second line. All right, so now you have the two lines. What are the slopes of these lines? They're both one half. So now the question is, what is the slope of the line perpendicular to both of these lines? Well, the slope of these lines are both one half, so what you need to do with the one half is to flip the fraction and change the sign. So if you flip the fraction and change the sign, you get negative two over one. So the slope of the perpendicular line is negative two. So first thing you have to do is graph the lines, find the slope of the original lines, which are both one half, find the slope of the line perpendicular to both lines, which is the flipping out the fraction and changing the sign, negative two over one or negative two. Now we're gonna pick a line with that slope of negative two going through either line. Now the easiest thing you can do is use the y-intercept from one of those lines. So let's use the line in the bottom. Let's use zero, negative two. So we know the y-intercept of this red line is negative two. We know the slope of the red line is negative two. So using the formula y equals mx plus b, the equation of the red line is y equals negative two x minus two. Now we're gonna find the point where the red line, the perpendicular line intersects with the other black line. So that's gonna be this point right there. So to do that, we're gonna set the equations equal to each other and solve for x. So the black line is one half x plus one. The red line has an equation negative two x minus two. We're gonna solve for x. What that will do is it gives us the x coordinate of that point where the red line and the other black line intersect. So we're gonna solve for x. The first thing we wanna do is get rid of the fraction. So we're gonna multiply everything by two. So imagine multiplying this by two, multiplying this by two. So you get x plus two equals negative four x minus four. Now I'm gonna add four x to both sides. And I'm gonna subtract two from both sides. And that's gonna isolate the x on the left side and the numbers on the right. Okay, so I'm gonna erase this so it gets out of the way. So you end up with five x equals negative six divide both sides by five, and you get x is negative 1.2. Now 
So that's the x coordinate for this point. The next thing you want to do is find the y coordinate for that point. To do that, take this x coordinate and plug it in to either of the two equations. So I'm going to use the negative 2x minus 2 because I don't have to deal with any fractions. So the y coordinate of this point is negative 2 times negative 1.2 minus 2. I'm basically subbing negative 1.2 in for x right there. So negative 2 times negative 1.2 is 2.4, positive 2.4 minus 2. So the y coordinate is 0.4. So the coordinate of this point where the red line and the other black line intersect is negative 1.2 comma 0.4. Now we're going to find the distance between the green point and 0, negative 2. To do that, we're going to need the distance formula. So the distance formula is the square root of parentheses x2 minus x1, close parentheses squared, plus the parentheses y2 minus y1, close parentheses squared. Take the square root of that whole thing. But you can also build a right triangle. So there's my right triangle. You can see the dimensions of that right triangle. The bottom side is 1.2 because it goes from an x of 0 to negative 1.2, so it's 1.2 units long. The height of the triangle goes from a y of negative 2 to a y of 0.4, so that's 2.4. So the distance is the square root of 1.2 squared plus 2.4 squared, which comes out to the square root of 7.2. Take the square root of 7.2, you get a distance of about 2.7. So to find the distance between two parallel lines, it's kind of complicated. Find the slope of the line perpendicular to both lines by taking the negative reciprocal. Use the y-intercept of one of those two points to find the equation of that perpendicular line. You'll then have to find the point on the other line that is on that perpendicular line. And then you need to find the distance between the two points along that perpendicular line. Let's try example 2b. Find the distance between y equals negative 2x minus 2 and y equals negative 2x plus 3. So I'm going to graph these lines very quickly. The one on the left has a y-intercept of negative 2 and a slope of negative 2. So you go down 2 right one so you start there and you go down two right one and end up there for the other line you start with a y-intercept of three go down two right one you end up with another point there and you basically graph the lines through those two points next we're going to find the slope of the perpendicular line you see the slope of the original line is negative two so we need to take that as a fraction flip it change the sign so negative two is the same as negative two over one Flip it, so you get 1 over 2, and you're going to make it positive. So the slope of the perpendicular line is 1 half. Now we're going to use the y-intercept of one of the lines. Let's use the one on the left, 0, negative 2. So we know that the y-intercept of this line is negative 2. We know the slope of this line is 1 half. So the equation of the line that's perpendicular to both lines is that line in red, y equals 1 half x minus 2. Now we're going to find the point on the black line on the right where the red line intersects it. So we're going to set the two equations equal to each other. So the equation of the black line is negative 2x plus 3. The equation of the red line is 1 half x minus 2. Now to solve for x, we're going to first get rid of the fraction. So we're going to multiply everything by 2 to get rid of the fraction. So 2 times negative 2x is negative 4x. 2 times 3 is plus 6. On the right side, 1 half x times 2 is just x. Negative 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So we have negative 4x plus 6 equals x minus 4. We're going to isolate the x by subtracting x from both sides. So we'll put all the x on the right. We're also going to move all the numbers to the right. So we're going to subtract 6 from both sides. So you'll end up with negative 5x equals negative 10. Divide both sides by negative 5. You see that x is equal to 2. Plug in x equals 2 into either equation to solve for the y coordinate. So we'll use the one on the left the black line because there are no fractions. So x is 2, so negative 2 times 2 plus 3 is negative 4 plus 3 equals negative 1. So the coordinate of this point is 2, negative 1. Now if you take a look at the graph, you can see that's where the points intersect, at 2, negative 1. So if you have a graph and you make the graph cleanly, you might be able to see where the points intersect. Now on 2a it was a decimal, so you couldn't really do a good job getting it, but here you can see clearly it's a whole number. Finally, we're going to look for the distance between 0, negative 2 and 2, negative 1 using the distance formula. So the distance formula is, I already went over it. Again, it's easiest to build a right triangle. There it is. So the width of the triangle is 2. The height of the triangle is 1. So the distance is equal to the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared, which is the square root of 5. Take the square root of 5, you get the distance of about 2.2. So again, to find the distance between two parallel lines, First, find the equation of the perpendicular line 
perpendicular to both by taking the negative reciprocal of the slope of either parallel line and using one of the y-intercepts. Then you're going to find the point where the perpendicular line intersects with the other parallel line and then find the distance between those two points. If you have any questions with section 10.5, and I know it's not easy, send me an email or join in during the office hours.